What's up guys, we're gonna be real beats and today I'm gonna be showing you how to play the piano with your mouse in a DAW. All right, so with that being said, let's just go ahead and get started and let's not waste any time. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So BPM 150. So I would advise you to follow exactly, right? If you can follow exactly in this video, you can, you know, copy exactly, but just going through the movements will make you better at this, okay? So here's the piano. It doesn't really matter. There's literally 10 million pianos in the world. I just chose this one because I just got this. Um, so 150 BPM, um, scale, uh, let's, let's just do a C minor. It's basic scale right there, okay? Um, so first thing we're gonna do is just do a bass line. I'm gonna, since we're focusing on the melody, just a simple little bass line. Um, let's actually go one half beat so it looks a little bit better. Um, and what we can do is just start on a C and we could just make a melody. And this melody we make will be our bass line. Okay, so I'm gonna just put the metronome on. I want this to leak over a bit and let me make this a little bit bigger so you can see the notes And then maybe we could just drag this over and do a little wiggle there to kind of resolve this so it goes back into this note, as you can see. All right, let's see what that sounds like. All right, I like that. So that is our baseline. So now let's throw some chords up so we can actually play this. Okay, so now we're gonna add our chords above and I'm gonna cut this up again. I don't, I can't control who's watching, right? It might be someone who just started producing watching. So I have to go through these little steps. Um, and I went ahead and changed the saturation of the background to make these pop a bit, uh, just in case we have to get out so you can see the notes. So let's take this note and we're gonna literally pull it up an octave. So C5 to C6, and we should probably pull this whole thing down. Um, and then we're gonna build the chord. How do you build the chord? Skip every other note within the scale. Within the scale are these white lines. So it's this that we brought. Okay, so we're just gonna skip that note place, skip that note place. And we're gonna do this with every single bass note. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this and I'll keep it real time so you can see. Since this is gonna be chopped up, if you want to, you can go again and make seventh chords if you want to add stuff like that in. Um, matter of fact, let's let this one bleed over so it's not changing too much. And then we can do this one. So we're going to skip that. Pull that up. Boom. And then since this one drops down, we can just copy this over. And then copy this over all right so everything is consistent let's chop it like that so these are our chords so now what we're gonna do is actually I'm gonna show you how to uh, play these now okay so now we're gonna go ahead and animate this um, so that we can play it right uh, so let's zoom in and don't worry about all of this this will get taken care of right now so this is overwhelming to like oh man I got to animate every single note trust me easy stuff here so let's take the first part like this and we're going to just focus on this. This is the only part you need to do right and after this. Everything is easy. So let's pull this down a bit and I'm going to highlight everything and just hold alt and pull things back. So when we move notes, they don't overlap. So here's a pattern you can use. So just off the gate, if you want to create rhythm and bounce, you can go on the grid and off the grid. So on the grid is every beat pretty much. So st something like this. And then off the grid would be in between these notes. So a combination of these will give you rhythm. 
okay um, so you can use this in each column to figure out kind of how to animate it so if you start usually if you start on the grid on here you will go off the grid then the next one will be on the grid okay but you don't have to do that it's just something to follow if you're lost so for this down here okay you can follow exactly we're just gonna pull these back like this pull this in and we can start like this and this will give us a good start okay and then our bass a little lower note we can just let this kind of play all right so now it is time um, to add some other notes so you want to utilize space right because with the human playing it's not going to be exact like super robot we're like this isn't just going to repeat the whole time right it's going to some parts going to be a little different um so let's add some other notes so let's go on the grid off the grid and then let's add this note in let's kind of push it over let's see if we can get away with that okay so now it's got like its own kind of like unique rhythm to it and let's keep building on it let's pull this and put on the grid and we can let these kind of play out a bit and then I'm gonna copy this just for time's sake pull it over and then we can change up the rhythm now this is troubleshooting mid melody so this note hitting this note is it gonna sound that great okay well it won't sound bad but I want this to be smooth so what you could do is pull this up you could just pull this whole chord up so right something like that and that's how you can kind of adjust as you go um so okay something like that and of course you can recolor the chord if you don't like the way it sounds but for this video i'm gonna just leave it as is because i've already showed you how to do it so um, i'm gonna just kind of fix this up just so it doesn't look so ugly um, and yeah, that is how you animate it. So now I'm going to be showing you how to exactly um, do this on everything else without doing it um, again. OK. All right. So now let's run through how to copy this over. So what you want to do is from the top down. Don't You can't. Of course, you can do whatever you want in music, right? If you want to go from the bottom up, that's fine. But if you want it to be consistent, like a consistent melody, um, go from the top down. So what we're going to do is pretty much this first chord okay um, we're gonna take and we're gonna take this rhythm copy it in the exact spot so wherever this is where this starts you pull it over over here it'll let me copy and delete okay and of course you will have to adjust that's why i showed you the part before um and then down here take this and put it in the same exact spot where this starts and then we could just move this note up over here. Now, this is a longer chord. So what we can do is just double it if you want. OK, and then you just leave this down here bare bones if you want to. Um, and then you can also add other notes. So how to add other notes? Well, I told you before on the grid, off the grid, on the grid, off the grid, on the grid, off the grid. Oops. And we'll do these, but I'll I'll try to like speed it up a bit so i'm sure you get the point and now we have our melody okay and you can add more but obviously this is a tutorial right so i'm just trying to get to the point um so that is how you copy it so what i'll do in the next part is i'll probably just fast forward through this um or i guess we can we can do it we can do this real time i'm gonna just chop it up okay so let's do these other two real quick so same thing um i'm gonna just take the original and again it doesn't need to be exact so for example um let's play the c let's kind of bleed these over and then we have to adjust these so what we could do is you see this little melody here we could use this for example so we could delete one of these notes we can adjust our chord that way and i want this to shine a bit so let's try this right and that is how you can adjust even though this isn't in the same chord you can still use it okay you can override 
And then over here, this video has been going on too long. So I think what we can do is literally just copy this and I'm gonna just delete these notes. And then we can finish it off something like this. Okay, and now we've animated our entire melody like we're playing it. Right, and obviously there's a lot of other things that can make it sound a little bit more realistic. You can add variations, um, you can offset notes, etc. but this is kind of the bare bones on how to actually do it. So now the important part is the velocity. So I'm gonna show you a trick with the velocity um, so you can make it sound a lot better. Now let's do the velocity. So I'll give you a formula to make it sound more lively. It's not gonna sound exactly realistic because obviously when someone's playing a piano, they're not gonna specifically as they're playing, be like, oh, this G note, I'll play at 75% velocity. No, they're not gonna do that, right? They're just gonna play it based on how they feel, how they wanna press the note. Um, so this is a little formula you can follow to kind of get something that's not boring like this, right? Um, so what we're gonna do is pretty much take the top note first of each chord. So these passing chords and stuff, we don't gotta worry about, just this. Um, and this is gonna be the dumbed down version because you can really take this formula and you can go crazy with it. So we're gonna take the top notes and I'm gonna just highlight them so you know exactly what we're talking about. And then what we're gonna do is flip flop. So we're gonna highlight the first and we're gonna leave that blank and highlight this. Okay, we're just gonna do that on the top parts, right? So we're just gonna skip that one, place. Uh, we don't need that, we'll skip that one, right? And then restart on the new chord. So place that one, skip that, place it and just do the same thing on the top notes. So now what we're gonna do is use six and three. So for this first one, okay, and you have to make a decision on what you want to shine. I want this note to pop. So you're gonna hold alt and go up six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Simple as that. I um, mean, in the middle section, now we could flip flop, but since we have so many notes here, I'm gonna just make it easy and just highlight the whole thing so we don't waste time. Um, Cause I'm sure you get it by now. And we're just gonna highlight every mid part that we made, okay? So everything inside of this and this, we're just gonna highlight, okay? So I'm gonna just redo it to be more transparent. And take that, take that. And we're gonna go down six, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then over here, what we can do for our like lower note you can flip it. So instead of highlighting the first note, you can actually skip the first note and highlight the second. All right, so over here, skip, place, skip, place, skip, place, skip, place, place. And then we're gonna go down or up three. So one, two, three. And of course you can fix this however you want, but this is a great starting point. Okay, so I'll play it. I probably could turn it up a little bit. Right, and that's gonna be something you can do to kind of make it sound more lively instead of that super synthetic sound. But that is gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.